What's happening, everyone? Joe and Mike back again. Build assets online. We're in some really, really strange times in the um, online business world. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie to you here. I'm not gonna fib you. And what what, what I want to do today is do basically income report on our niche site blogs. Show kind of a little bit of the history, what we've been working with, what we've been doing, and I kind of want to make this a monthly ritual here because this is the main space in which we are executing AI content at scale. And this stuff is moving so fast, to be honest with you, I don't know where it's going to be in one month, two months, three months. The whole thing might just come crumbling down. This will all be a waste of time. But I feel like it's like, I mean, the way I kind of see it now is it's like, if you're going to be an athlete, you got to take, you might end up taking steroids at some point just to keep up with the competition. You don't necessarily know where that's going to lead in terms of destruction on your body later, but you know, that's, that's just what it is. The opportunity is big. You got to get the gold medal now. <laughs> yeah. This could be the, the Sammy Sosa, Mark McGuire, Babe Ruth, not Babe Ruth, Barry Bonds era of uh, <laughs> content right now. Just but, twerking the bat, clicking buttons, articles are coming out. <laughs> the thing is, though, is that it just it, there's so many ways to to use it, like finding the right applications. Once I I probably started all like really exploring this AI stuff, probably like it feels like a lifetime ago. But realistically, it was probably only like three weeks to a month ago. It feels <laughs> like it's been so long. Like I feel like I've lived a whole life of AI at this Yeah, because every day is a new thing. Every day is something entirely new. How could you have in one week, you have mid-journey, was it, V5 come out. You have Chad GPT 4 come out. You have all these new advancements that are happening literally daily, like that are just leaps and bounds types of advancements. They're not just like random updates. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, this is uh, this is why we keep talking about it, and maybe people don't want to hear about it because it doesn't have the word dropshipping in it, but it has a lot of relation to dropshipping. And this is well, it's also, I mean, it's definitely been integrated into our 2023 dropshipping SEO game plan, which is of course inside of our um, our full course, buildassetsonline.com/class. Listen, this doesn't change anything. I still think dropshipping is. I mean, even more so probably the better business model at this point, because like I was just about to say, to really leverage this AI stuff, I feel like you have to truly – like the only reason I am going so deep into it is because I've been looking at keywords and websites and Ahrefs and like, like for years just looking at this. So I feel like I've been able to take our sites, identify the opportunities – identify lots of different applications and hopefully it works. But if you're just starting out like this is, I don't think this is for the faint of heart. Like I don't think it's making it easier, but I don't think it's making blog sites any easier. If that makes sense. I don't, I don't it's know. Making the execution of making articles easier, but it's not going to help you with how do you come up with the keywords and, and those sorts of things. I mean, take it back to the baseball steroid example. Just because HGH came out doesn't mean you could start, you know, pumping that in your bloodstream and you're going to start hitting <laughs> home runs. You know, Joe's been Joe's been at the at the tee for years and years, swinging. So you know, you put in a little little growth hormone, it's going to start jacking things out of the park. You know, hopefully, or I'll die first. But we'll see. Yeah, or he'll just have a heart attack, and you know, that'll be it. But yeah, so yeah, let's, you got to go for it, and that's that's we always talk about like how the opportunities present themselves when you have the correct skills to take advantage of the opportunities. Like yeah. talk about with COVID. If you didn't have a dropshipping store at that time, you were not in the prime position to take advantage of what happened. People were just at home given stimulus money, started online shopping like crazy. And so because we already built these previous things, a black swan event happens and you're just right there to take advantage. This is the same thing. 
we were already doing this very much involved in this and this in itself is a major black swan event where just overnight basically this is like such a huge part of life and nothing will be the same most likely so we were just you know in a position to take advantage of the opportunity and uh that's what you do it for that's why we talk about what we talk about that's why we teach what we teach because beyond creating websites and you know executing on drop shipping and doing the business model like it puts you in these positions that you could take advantage of an opportunity when it comes and see some major returns so hopefully yeah. we do get some major returns out of it hopefully or, uh, we won't the thing is is like it also takes you have to have like a high level of it, it makes it easier to execute but at the same time it kind of doesn't because you got to train vas on how to do this stuff you got to have steps for them on like you know i have we'll, we'll get I'll, I'll get into this as we talk about the sites let's just let's just pull it up i want to go through a little bit of this this is going to be messy by the way i didn't like spend time <laughs> making this presentable but i want to we're in looking at december right now uh I'll make this smaller december so uh, make sure I didn't reveal anything. Okay. In December, uh, our total revenue for our sites was around 21,000. So we had 9,600 from Mediavine, 6,200 from Amazon, 523 from ShareASale, ClickBank. Um, technically, we had over 7,000, but this is a partner site. Um, oh, did I forgot to divide out the partner site there? Uh, so this will be... This would be like minus, sorry, <laughs> minus 800, I think. Yeah, so this. I this, mean, people get the idea, right? We're making these sites and they're generating this yeah. income. It doesn't matter. If you it was probably, it's probably, bits, probably uh, closer to 20,000 than 21,000 in December. Um, so I just want to go over this real quick to show the kind of historical precedence. And then going forward, we'll see. January, I did take into account the split here, but the total was around 15,000. We actually sold a site in January, which is going to bring our monthly. Uh, we sold this site, which had it had ClickBank revenue and it had uh, MediaVine revenue, but it's going to bring our future monthly earnings down. Um, but in January, our total was around fifteen thousand, seven thousand from MediaVine, twenty four hundred from Amazon, four uh, four fifty from ShareASale. After our split on ClickBank, it was forty seven hundred. Uh, 217, 215 monumetric, 217 skim links. And the site sale was 55,000. So you could say that's 70,000 in revenue there with the sale. Without the sale, we're looking at 15,000. 70,000 profit. 70, yeah. Not revenue. Well, I probably, I mean, I probably spent a couple thousand on like new content at that point. I don't know. Did I? I don't know. I might have spent one or two thousand. Like, I, you know, we had a VA doing images. I think at this point I was already starting. No, no, no. I, I'm starting to spend, I don't know. I can't keep track of this stuff, Mike. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't, I don't like, it's hard to spend as much as we make with these, but I do spend something, especially with the AI. And obviously there's hosting and stuff like that, but let's just look at, um, media <clears throat> February. February is a bad month. It's a short month. Ad revenues are low. So we're at 5,600 Mediavine, 2,300 Amazon, 418 share sale, 5,500 ClickBank. After our split, it's 2,800, 204 skim links, 137 monumentric. So a total of about 11,560. 11, so that's where we left off last month. Now, of course, this is kind of declining because we sold a site and not it's not going to be as hot as December in terms of like the ad rates and, and Amazon. So this is a natural cycle that, that happens every year with, with these kind of sites. Now it was around this time that I started getting into the bulk publishing after we sold our website, I bought uh, for 55,000 in January. Well, that's what we got paid. We sold it for like 65,000, 55,000 after the fee, but I bought an expired domain. Oh. Uh, now, to date, this article has 425 articles on it. Now, website. Yeah, this website has 425 articles on it. We're looking at here our sites that we started. There might be a few missing from here. 
sites that we've started that are unmonetized yet. So this website, um, sorry, this expired domain is about a month old, 425 articles on it, no real traffic yet. This site is five months old, but I started pub bulk publishing on it about five, about probably about a month ago, if maybe a couple weeks ago. It's got 263 articles on it. Um, this one I did like a Google Sheets bulk publishing using OpenAI. Had 300 manual short articles and now 300 bulk published short articles for a total of 600. And it's getting just a few hits a day. So these sites are really too new to know to know what's going on with them. Um, this site one is eight months old, but it hasn't gotten the AI treatment yet. I started applying the AI treatment to new sites at first while I was getting getting a feel for it. But now, here's the thing. Now I'm starting to get into applying the AI treatment to sites that we own and that are already making revenue because that's what's going to provide the quickest amount of returns. But in sort of the phases where I was figuring everything out, um, plus we have a site, we've had two sites for sale. One's not for sale anymore. One site is still for sale. So I'm not updating that one right now because um, it hasn't been updated in probably like a year. So I'm not bothering with that. But now as I feel like I have a grasp of all the AI tools and what they do and their strengths and their weaknesses and how to use them, I will talk about some of the stuff that I'm doing. So this site right here, um, you can see that the sessions in February got like 158,000 sessions. The RPM is pretty low. So this site only makes money from ads. The RPM is pretty low. Um, but it made 1500 last month. This site, since it gets so much traffic, well, not it doesn't get a ton of traffic, but considering the work I put into it, it gets a lot of traffic. I finally got two VA. I, I have probably at least a couple hundred, if not a thousand articles mapped out, keywords. And my VAs, I hired two new VAs um, and they are at to work on, they are working on this now. So they today is really the first day which they got started, like you know after the training and going everything in full force. And I'm just looking at it now, and stuff is stuff is getting published left and right because I'm incentivizing them to write more by like you know offering some bonuses and also you I'm you mainly using Chat GPT for this, and it's bringing the cost per article down to like one to three dollars per article for long, long articles, which is what I want to go for because I started taking some time to um, look at what pages make, make more and what pages make less with ads. And I've always known this, but the longer the page, the more opportunity it gets to show ads because of the scrolling. So the longer they're on the page, the more ads can show. Um, so yeah, I think focusing on long form family friendly stuff is, is where it's at for this. Joe, what are those dates on the left-hand side? Oh, that's just when they joined media vine. Oh, okay. Um, is the one that we show in the course, like the one that you built for the blogging course, a part of this, that's this one that I'm just talking about right now. Okay. This one, I mean, it's kind of exceeded my expectations as far as what's going on with it. Right. You kind of threw it up as a joke just to, again, demonstrate how to make a blog site in our course. And yeah, I mean, it's nothing to sneeze at. So people want to see that. They can go to buildassetsonline.com slash class <laughs> or just go straight to buildassetsonline.com slash enroll. And you could, you could see what we're doing with this. And, um, yeah, I mean, what I, what I like a lot about the, the VA plus AI, uh, synchronicity is number one, I think it's a great deal for the VAs because, well, number one, it's good for us because they're getting paid per article. So it's like an output based work incentive. So they can work as much as they want versus paying them hourly and you don't know what they're doing unless you're tracking them. And even with that, you don't know like if their output level is good. 
this is a performance based type role. So you're basically plugging in a VA with like a monster AI supercomputer. So they're able to pump out really high quality articles at a fraction of the price with a yep. standard American writer. <clears throat> And the whole the whole challenge of this, uh, I'll use the example of this site, and I want to talk about fun content versus fact based content. Kind of steered away from fact based content until now with AI, which which I will talk about. But so far, I've only put out kind of like fun based content, content that is like subjective, like no real facts, because ChatGPT and Jasper and all those they're terrible with facts. They get facts wrong all the time. So I like to do stuff that's like subjective, like, you know, it's just an opinion or it's like ideas, you know, it's like for inspiration. It's not really like how to feed your like dog or something, which I've seen people do with AI. And I don't, th I, I don't think that that's a, a good thing to do because it pulls out not like you could basically kill someone's dog doing this or yeah. you used to be able to, but now I'll talk about the, the fact stuff in a sec. But yeah, I think the, the fun stuff and the inspirational stuff that AI could do, especially chat GPT, and when you, once you combine it with mid-journey, I think- Jump your phone. Oh, I didn't even hear that. That shit's dinging like crazy. Oh, I don't even know. Here we go. Silent mode on. I think that's what it excels at, is you have a template of fun content. I don't know, like party. I, no, that's my computer. Hold on. How do I turn this off? option i'm surprised I, i'm even hearing noises come out of your phone that, that your phone is usually not even on i know it's coming from my computer it's not it makes my more phone. sense now yeah for people that don't know joe has not not even slept in in a month <laughs> since this ai situation has transpired he's been up all night deep in these these keyword holes you know come up with new ideas and then every every week it's something it's another generational leap that we got to deal with so I mean, you can tell Joe's fired up here because, you know, he's not even – he doesn't even need sleep. Uh, yeah, so the fun type things or inspirational type things, I think this is a direction that I'm going to be uh, – what is it? What do they say in the corporate world? Lean, leaning in on? Because I think when you combine fun, inspirational stuff, especially now with mid-journey, I think there is some big opportunities there fun with mid journey or fact with mid journey say say f like fun with mid journey not fact but like say you want to okay. come up with um like you know ways to decorate cookies for your daughter's birthday right you know, right there's lots right. of different angles oh, you could take God. with that give it away the game no i'm not giving it listen there's a lot more i could say i'm not going to i'm not going to say it we, we mike is ready to launch the ai um, con content course. I'm like, listen, hold up a little bit. Let me really get this down, and then we'll and then we'll launch it. So there's gonna well, be more details revealed very soon. Just, we raised the This thing is still dinging. I gotta figure. Hold on, hold on. Oh my god! I'm gonna mute you wonder my why mic. We have no views, Joe. People don't take us seriously. I'm gonna mute it's my mic. I, I don't know what we got. Blankets. <laughs> But, um, I mean, yeah, so the AI course, we're refining, we're getting to that perfection, that singularity point, but we do have the AI content masterclass. That's a two part series. It is inside, um, our standard course and membership right now, mainly geared towards dropshipping because this stuff does pertain to dropshipping, right? You can make content for your dropshipping websites that are, you know, informational, not, they don't necessarily have to be like super fact based, but you know, I'm not, I'm not the keyword wizard that can just come up well, with, you can uh, make, you can make example. it. I show you in the, in the, in the, inside of our drop shipping course, how to make them fact based, but it just takes a little right. more work. I don't think it's appropriate for a VA. That's, that's what I'm saying. Or at least yeah. not one that you can, you know, just throw at the, throw at something. Yeah. And even if you do it yourself, the efficiency level of doing that is like, number one, you don't have to go out and find a writer or you don't have to, you know, pay them whatever it is, hundred dollars for an article. You could do this all with um, Chat GPT. I mean, you've you've shown it using Jasper, whatever they call it. And um, yeah, I mean, it's a really good way. Like, we have a lot of students that they they're 
into it. They want to do things as fast as possible. But when it comes to Google ads, you can't really like do it all day, every day. You got to make a change and you got to let it sit for a week, you know? So people that are chomping at the bit, they could just be churning out these articles and it will pay off in a big way because you're going to get traffic down the line and that builds your remarketing audience. If you're capturing these people that are all interested in the products that you're selling and they're searching these informational keywords, you're building up this huge remarketing list. Now, when they go to actually search for a brand or have like a real uh, commercial type search inquiry, now you're, you're showing up organically, you're showing up with the paid search ads, you're showing up with the shopping ads, and you're going to win them out because you have them as a part of your remarketing audience. So you could bid more for them. So this stuff all cycles together. Joe, did you get the ding figured out? Yeah, what, it's done. We're there? done. It was coming from my Mac speakers. I had to like figure out, go into sound and turn those off. I, I had no idea that I, I, I never knew it would play sound through there. Yeah, it's all it's all integrated, Joe. The the Apple ecosystem. Yeah, it's a good thing you don't you don't have to watch. That'd be going off too. <laughs> the AirPods would be screaming at you. That's but a good thing. Let's take a moment here and uh, say hello to our lovely viewers. Jacob said he's excited for this one. He's looking forward to it. Our SEO hype man Waylon. Is in here. Well, Waylon actually. So I want to talk about Waylon. I've heard about the koala. I want to talk about the fact-based stuff, and that has to do with Koala Writer, which I heard about before, and I meant to check it out. Some other guy linked it to me, and then Waylon left me a message like last night, asked me if I checked it out, and this morning I, I had a lot of time. I got it pretty early, and that's when I was messing with it, and I was absolutely blown away by what it does yeah now it's another thing you got to stay up all night and uh start messing with but it has its own limitations of course like you know I, it's not like i tried this thing and it negates everything else i've been doing you know i still have my non-factual stuff rolling that i think chat gpt is going to be the best for just considering the nature of you give it something it gives it back to you you branch off of what you give it so you know, for certain types of articles, chat GPT is, is still going to reign supreme. I'm pretty confident in that. But for other types of things where, you know, you're, you got to crawl the web to get facts, then something like Koala Writer would, would come into play. Right. And this is, this is deep stuff. People think they can just go on Twitter, read some friggin' Twitter thread by some jabroni and go in and implement this stuff. Like, Things are changing so often that you need you need a community and you need someone who's really in the trenches with this because again things are moving so quick you got to be you got to be on the boat. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Dade County local, what's good, fellas? Do we know you, Dade County local? I'm not too familiar with Dade County. That's uh, it's where Miami is. Our boy Byron. Joe, can you hear me? Is my uh, yeah, yeah you, you, you sound good. Okay, it's, it's giving me the connection unstable uh, alert here. But Byron says, cheers to all my dropship daddies, wheeling, dealing, trying to provide some meals for the fam. That's the goal, man. We're all just trying to eat. <laughs> GC said, which Brusca brother is more attractive? Mike has those classic good looks, but Joe has that badass Jason Statham energy. Who's that? Uh, oh, he was in that movie, the uh, what, the Fast and the Furious? <laughs> oh, he's in the Expendables. You ever yeah, had you, you, you do have a bit of Jason State. <laughs> does anyone ever does anyone out there have that friend that like watches all the Fast and Furious movies? I I, I do, I do. And I feel like there's something wrong with you if you like <laughs> are, are dead serious about those movies. Yeah. Apparently they're huge in China though. Why is that? I don't know. Something about American action, Hollywood explosions yeah. and cars and things. Yeah. They're really into that. Like, I, like I feel like I'm like, 
that's like the like I've seen so much of that. Like I'm really not interested in watching a movie. Like people sometimes will watch movies for like the special effects, bro. They'll get so like well, blown away by it. Well, what I, I watched speaking of Chinese movies, special effects, um, I watched everything everywhere all the time. Did you hear about that movie? I saw it on Netflix, but then I turned on Seinfeld. It's not on Netflix. Oh no, uh, maybe not. Okay. You no, know, I had to buy. I had to buy it for like twenty bucks. My okay. friend gave me a, a torrent version, and then I started watching it, and it had Chinese subtitles, but they're speaking Chinese, and there's English subtitles, and the Chinese subtitles are over the English. <laughs> so I could. I had to buy. I, I was like, whatever. I'm just gonna buy the movie. But that it won a bunch of Oscars actually. But it's it was really what the hell is that? <laughs> I'm drinking a smoothie, Mike. <laughs> I spent. I am literally you forgetting the entire blender with you. I know because I'm gonna be talking. You're gonna be hitting the freaking blender. A lot was going. A lot was going on downstairs. I had to get up. Got get up here for the stream. I also little do people know that that seat is actually a toilet. <laughs> I wish. You're not <laughs> honestly. Like I I I've been forgetting to eat, like with this AI stuff. Yeah. The only time I forgot to eat was when I was like 11 and like Nintendo 64 came out. And I think I just played like the Super Mario 64 all the way through. Yeah. Yeah. So Waylon said he's willing to take the asterisk to get the big contract. He's willing to, he's willing to juice to get that $11 million contract. And, uh, you know, whatever. You can't get into the Hall of Fame. Who cares? You got the Millies. Boy, Justin. Byron said, I pumped out some dope buying guides and other content this weekend using chat GPT for the store. It's crazy. Yeah. We're not, we're not even getting into how you could use it for email flows, for creating buyer, buyer guides you could have as a PDF for your store, for customers, for lead generation, stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I mean, you could do all of it. Like this all started because we were looking at chat GPT and we were kind of afraid of the AI, uh, like AI content penalty before Google said it was okay. And we were like, how do we use this? Like we can make Kindle books or whatever. Um, but then we just started taking action and then things just, things just evolved. So it's, yeah. uh, it's quite crazy right now. Okay. Date is Conrad. We know who Conrad is. Our boy Aaron working on another AI project with the help of uh, our boy Aaron. Yeah, that's Aaron's another thing. That, that's, I mean, I think we could talk about what that is, right? I mean, I don't know. Honestly, like I just made like threw up like a local lead gen site using AI. And um, I put, you know, it was really easy to just put some content behind it, if that makes sense. Like just you know, I make, make the home page kind of like the service page and then the rest of it, um, like the, like, I guess, content to, to build relevance around the service. Yeah. And again, it's just, that's another thing I want to do. I want to do more of, especially now that I have the fact-based stuff, I kind of want to make a national type of service, um, site. Not, not like say, like I'm saying, build, say you want to build a, a national site around catering. There's so many informational articles around catering. I would imagine that their RP, that their CPCs are pretty high. You can probably yeah. generate leads nationally um, pretty easily and also locally. So that's another thing I have on the radar, but I really, the hardest part is honestly staying focused and being like, all right, I have this, I wanted to do. A lot of I've been shifting the, the VAs around a lot, like trying to figure out <clears throat> you're going to do this, you're going to do this, you're going to do this. I'm going to hire someone else to do this. So that's that's been a, a struggle. You know, I've always been skeptical of how they used to talk about one day you're going to be able to transfer your consciousness to a hard drive or some shit. <laughs> but now I feel like soon come you'll be able to train the AI to be another version of you. Like what if you, what if you just trained AI to be, to act as another Joe? You could duplicate yourself. Yeah. I mean, I, 
I don't even know about that, but I'm willing to take the chip right now. <laughs> yeah, if you had the Neuralink too, just imagine. Imagine what could happen. That's, we've crossed the – I don't know what the phrase is, we, but we've crossed the threshold of where there's no turning back on this. The AI yeah. is going to keep rolling and expanding, and it's really uh, – I don't, I don't know what's going to happen, but – we're yeah. going to get into more of it. And I'm going to talk yeah. about uh, – on more of a personal note, I feel like we need AI like really badly. And uh, I'll talk a little bit of a personal story with this. Uh, we had to bring my daughter to the hospital, and it turned out that she, like our doctors thought it was like uh, – that she had like a bacterial infection on her foot. It turns out she just had like athlete's foot, like a fungal infection from like putting on someone's shoes or – wearing shoes without socks or whatever. And, you know, something you just treat at home with like a cream. But we had to go through this whole rigmarole of doctors and 10 doctors looking at it. They don't know what it is. And it was just like nonsense, like so much wasted human effort going through all these systems to get a correct diagnosis on something so stupid. And like, yeah. I feel like if there was AI that can handle like, just take a few pictures of it, enter in some information, and I'm sure it would give you like a highly accurate probability of like what something is medically. Right. Like even Elon talks about how with the cars, with the self-driving cars, there's going to become a point where those cars are so much safer than a human driving that it's going to, you're going to cross that threshold where it's like, they're going to make AI have to drive. And I mean, Chad GPT has already passed the, the medical exams and whatnot. So there's going to be a point where it's probably going to be so much better at diagnosing and treating than even a, a real doctor. Yeah. Like I, I could see all that happening now, but uh, even two months ago, it's like your brain couldn't even fathom it, but there's all these different possibilities that are, that are opening up now. It's going to be uh very uh, interesting stuff. I mean, I feel like it's definitely, it's something that's, you know, necessary, definitely necessary at this point, like this writing stuff is really just, I mean, kind of a silly version of it, but you know, they have things where it's, it's, it's in the crops and it's like scanning each plant. And it's like, this plant needs more water. This plant needs more fertilizer. This plant needs this, this plant needs that. So, yeah. you know, for using resources effectively, like, I mean, I, I'm pretty happy about it. Like it gets me pretty excited. Yeah. I, I sent a, um, something on Twitter to you guys the other day about like, Oh, it was about, it was about AI um, art and like how people are saying AI is bad for art. And then this other guy was like, Hey, it's actually really good because imagine now like artists creativity that they have all these ideas, but they're so limited in, in how quickly and easily they can execute stuff. Now you have access to almost like studio level illu uh, illustration execution from the comfort of your own home. So it gives people like more power versus people feel like ai is taking away from power from people um and some people i think will be screwed like coders and could be even doctors like those types of jobs can wind up being obsolete i think a lot of the um skilled labor is going to come back down to people like us that know how to how to work the ai and like plumbers and stuff <laughs> <laughs> Like plumbers can, you still need a guy to come in there with, with the butt crack and maybe, maybe they're using an AI tool, but you know, I feel like their, their jobs are safe, but Tim said he's been in the same way. He's been in a two month, uh, no sleep spiral. I feel like Tim is always in this type of state, <laughs> but what do I know? <laughs> Jesus, I if Joe is pooping on stream, I think Mike wins by default. Yeah. I didn't say I, I wasn't pooping on stream. <laughs> Yeah, like I said, well, actually much longer overall. Yeah, Tim Tim probably hasn't slept in years. Yeah. I was talking about N64. Yeah. I'm never into Goldeneye, though. I don't know why. I don't really like shooting games. Nature's Curious said, do you hear from your past students? Are they still killing it in e-com? Well, a lot of students stay inside the membership because it's pretty cheap. Like, people people freak out that it's like 97 a month. But you literally get a one-on-one -on -one chat with us. And once you're making decent money, like, I mean, it's literally $3 a day. So 
most people don't see a reason to leave. So we're still in touch with a lot of people um, that do really well with their stores. So yeah, I mean, we have people that are still doing well with e -com. Some people sell their stores and move on to doing land or doing whatever. So uh, yeah, we're, we're in touch with a lot of students that are, you know, have been with us for years or people that are new. So we're, uh, we got our tentacles in, in a lot of different things. Jacob said, sup, Bao. You already said sup before. He said, in all seriousness, no, Joe, how do you think Google will respond to the flood of AI content hitting the web going forward? That is something I have no idea, which is why I said this could all come to a crashing halt. Um, but like, I, I feel like also like, again, I don't know how many people are going to be using it effectively. Like, I still feel like I, I almost feel like it's going to widen the gap even more between people who know what they're doing and people who don't know what they're doing. And honestly, I'm going to be honest, like, I feel like I'm probably somewhere in between. Like, I'm not in the top echelon of people who make money from niche sites. I'm probably in the, you know, whatever you just saw our revenue, but it's like, I'm sure that's way better than most people that try it. But then, of course, you have people that are in the elite of the elite. Plus, we also do a lot of other stuff. Yeah. Um, but I feel like it's going to widen the gap, actually, even more. <laughs> like, people who don't know what they're doing are going to have even less of a chance. Right. Because if you take the AI part out of it, now the people that are really good at doing SEO as it is have access to a tool that allow them to execute quicker and just at a bigger scale. Everybody has this tool, but if you suck at doing SEO, it's not really gonna help you like using standard Google ranking factors. Uh, but something you said to me before was, you can tell chat, chat GPT to write in a certain way where chat GPT's own AI detection system can't tell that it's AI, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think Google is actually going to be scanning the the content for AI because I feel like that would require a lot of resources on their end. But I guess the the part of your question that I don't know about is flood of content. Yeah, I I, I would assume there's going to be a lot more content hitting the web, and I don't know how they'll respond to that honestly. Yeah, but I think it bodes well for the strategies that we teach because we're very into the long tail low competition side of things. Um, and again, if you're not versed on how to find those keywords, then you're going to be in the same boat you were at before. If you're trying to compete on best, you know, Apple core, <laughs> you know, then it's, you're going to be in a world of trouble. More so about, as much as it's about finding the keywords, it's also about having the team in place to do it. Because I'm going to be honest with you. I had a guy I had a guy doing some AI stuff for me who was right. He was writing for me before and he's like a native English speaker actually. And he's like, man, like I just can't do this. Like it's, it's making like making my brain hurt like to work with the chat thing all day and <laughs> to, to give the kind of output, you know, versus just like writing normally. Mm -hmm. So training a team on how to do this for each specific keyword set is a whole nother challenge in itself like it's it, it's not it, there are believe it or not there are more obstacles into scaling it than you might think you know yeah aaron said people are training ai on the sales and marketing tactics and stuff and using it to create trainings and stuff yeah i mean i i believe it like a lot of people do like um instagram dm funnels you know, where it's like the dude in the Lambo and he's like, DM me e-com if you want to learn how I do this. And then people DM and then it's like a, a sales guy in the DMs that gets you to book a call or something. Like now I feel like there might be an AI you could just plug in that just sells people in the DMs. But I don't know. We're not, we're not too into that. He said, yeah, people are using it to cure cancer and stuff too. Yeah. A lot of things happening. So do we want to get into... Um, the rest of the stuff you wanted to talk about? I don't even know where I was. I feel like I kind of... Uh, the... What did you call it? The thing that Waylon showed you. Oh, oh, oh. The... Uh, koala? 
Koala writer. Yeah, actually, uh, I'm on the, uh, the well, I was going to do a separate video on it, a separate review on it, but we could talk about it a little bit. I actually just, uh, I full, I signed up, hold on. We just got an affiliate link for it, which is uh, always good. But yeah, so Koala writer, let me, let me, let me pull it up. I'll talk about it a little bit. Why don't you talk a little bit? Because I want to create the affiliate link. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It also should be mentioned that um, in the earnings that we were splitting with with somebody, we found out our ClickBank links were like not working. Is that right? Yeah, but since well, I fixed one... I, since I fixed them, I didn't notice anything different. So I don't know. That was like two days ago, though. Yeah, yeah. I, let me let me check that right now. I. I we were still getting money. Like, I don't, I don't understand. Like the clicks were still there. So I truly don't know why I, I'm sure some of them weren't working. Cause it was like some security, like SSL thing, but yeah. Uh, yeah. Like I don't notice like an uptick since I changed the links. Like I feel like if it were, if they were all broken, it would be pretty instant, but well, no, it's still the same. All right. Then never mind. We'll see. I mean, hope maybe it'll do something. So you're getting the uh, koala thing ready? Yeah. So let's uh, – I'm going to actually do a whole separate video on this. Um, they have like a really crazy promotion going on right now. Let me make a, a banner. Whoops. So it's called Koala Writer. If you go to buildassetsonline.com slash koala, which I will put up right here. And I'll share the screen to talk about it a little bit. Why well, you got to throw in the HTTPS colon slash slash? I don't know. I don't know. Let me uh, let me fix this. I did want to riff on You're our showing your eighties baby card with that. <laughs> I did want to riff on the coffee uh, Zillow video we did a little bit. It's so much negative feedback when we do those kind of things, and I feel like people truly don't understand where we're coming from if they haven't watched us before like i don't think it's a bad thing that coffeezilla exposes people that are like legitimately scamming people but what's not good is when that kind of content embeds two false beliefs in you one that buying courses is a waste of money and everything is for free on youtube and two is just that like everything is a scam and, and nothing works so there's kind of a dichotomy of things going on with that. And I don't know, people are kind of like so into, they just want to believe, some people just want to believe everything's a scam. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of the comments were like, he didn't say everything is a scam, but you're right. They have these embedded beliefs. Like these people that are watching CoffeeZilla are going to be very averse to going and buying a course now because they're consuming that content. So I think that's that's what we try to wake people up to is that like it's not as bad as you think. I mean, yeah, there, there's people out there that are scamming, but there's doctors out there that can't diagnose athlete's foot, you know? <laughs> so <laughs> Exactly. But does it mean you should never go to a doctor? Yeah. No, like it doesn't it's just anyway. Koala writer. I tried this this morning and I was absolutely amazed with it. It's not replacing chat GBT for my writing. It's, uh, but this will basically be my go-to for when I do like fact-based writing. So if I'm trying to do an article on how many tablespoons are in a, how many tablespoons are in a cup or something, chat GPT is probably going to mess that up. But if you use koala really? writer, maybe not something like that, but something like, um, Hmm. I'm trying to think. Like if, like if it's trying to, add, like something specific and factual, like it, it'll mess it up a lot. Okay. It will like, maybe not something that's like pure mathematics, but like something that has some sort of like nuance to it. Like, yeah. Um, you know, like how long should you boil pasta for or something? It might not like, 
yeah, it just it just might mess it up. There's a good chance it will mess it up. Especially so, or so if you ask so how long to boil gluten free pasta, maybe it's different. Like it's not gonna understand like it'll just give you an answer, like a generic answer for regular pasta, maybe. It right. Does yeah. stuff like Fresh that. pasta takes a different time and yeah. That type of thing. But this koala rider, they actually have a lifetime deal going on right now, which is I, I bought this one. Um I got 30% off and we have a coupon code for you to get that, but it's a thousand, uh, it says a million words per month, but I am going to recommend for fact-based content that you do use the, G the GPT-4, which basically um, ups your word count to, it's like 5X. So 1,000 articles, 1,000 words is 5,000 words, but this is a lifetime plan. Like I bought this and I'm getting a thousand words per month for life because they're just launching. A million. A million words per month for life because they're just launching. And honestly, like, I'm kind of tempted to buy more of it, but I don't want to, you know, I don't feel like spending eight grand. On well, it. can you describe what it does? Yeah. Because, so it, uh, you kind of explained it to me, but I don't even know. You, you spend $3,500. So just blowing through the bank account, Joe. <laughs> well, basically, what it does is it allows chat GP, like, not chat GPT, but it'll, not only will it create an outline, you can make the outline yourself, of course, but it'll create an outline. And then for every subsection of the outline, it'll crawl Google, cite sources, and get the specific things. To say, you, to say you're writing an article on how to boil pasta, you have gluten-free pasta in there. You have you know, other types of noodles. You got pastina. You got uh, um, you know, different, different types. Cool. Yeah, couscous, different types of pasta in there. It's going to crawl the web and figure out, okay, couscous needs this. You might want to strain it like this, use a fine mesh thing. So it's not only like crawling the web results once, it's like crawling it multiple times to get really in depth on the uh, the topic that you're writing about. So it's really, really crazy. And um, yeah, so I actually have a, a coupon code also. So I didn't actually spend this thirty five hundred dollars it was more like it was thirty percent off so what is that thirty five times point seven so, so I spent twenty four hundred on this which is lifetime I mean that's worth it for lifetime so the coupon code I'll actually uh <clears throat> yeah I mean we spent like 10x that we spent like twenty five thousand dollars to get a million words flat from a writing service. Just like last year. Yeah. And if I would, I mean, if I would have known about this, I feel like I, <laughs> I wouldn't have bought that, but I might get refunded yeah. on that. I'm working on that. We'll see. <laughs> GC wants to see a live example. I will do that in a separate video. I'm not like set up for that right now. I'll yeah. do a separate video probably tomorrow. Yeah. So what, are, what are we going to be doing with this? So we talked about the fun versus fact stuff. This will allow you to do more fact-based content because like you were telling me, chat GPT only goes back to 2021, you said, in terms of what it crawls. Is that mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Well, in terms not it doesn't even crawl it live. It just knows it. What it knows. It, but it doesn't, you know, sometimes it doesn't really even know it. It assumes it. Knows. Based on the way AI works, it's not like it knows that. I, I don't really understand it, but the way it's trained it's not like it i don't think it has a data set per se but i don't want to get too in the weeds this will allow the chat or allow the, the ai to know stuff because it's crawling like it'll allow it to know specific facts and statistics right so it opens up a bigger field of content you could publish confidently with chat gpt and it has some crazy um you can also write Amazon affiliate articles, which I just started messing with, but I didn't really get much time. But yeah, it'll basically crawl Amazon data. I mean, crawl Google data, write unique Amazon affiliate articles as well. All right. All right. So a lot going on. I, 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 I think, I mean, I would snag up one of these lifetime deals, like whatever your budget allows. And if you use coupon code launch, you save uh, 30%. Oh, nothing to sneeze at. I think that this is going away Monday, I believe. 
Yeah. Even the basic one would be only, you know, 700 bucks. Yeah. For 250,000. So Koala writer, 250,000 words a month. What does that mean? Like when it's giving you words, is that the fully fleshed out done article? Yeah. Yeah. So that's different from like chat GPT where you're like, Hey, give me a something about this. And it answers you. Those aren't like koala writer words. That's more of the koala chat feature, right? Right. Yeah. This is just a couple of clicks. It writes the whole article. You don't have to go back and forth with it. Damn. Will it do romance novels? Uh, that I, I haven't explored that. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it's, it's, uh, there's not enough time in the day to do all the things that I want to do. You know, I would like to get back into Kindle with some of this stuff, but yeah, not enough time. Yeah. Every, everything now just becomes uh more opportunity. But MT said, quick question. I have a supplier for a chest of drawers, console tables, and bookcases delivered to the UK only. Is this a good niche to get into? I mean, it's pretty basic of a niche. I'm not going to say it's not bad. I'm sure you'll be able to sell stuff. But what I think, my first instinct here is like, these are all basically the same type of product. It's all like wooden kind of heavy, bulky furniture type items. The way that we teach, I don't know if you're in the course or not, you want to be more diversified in your product types that you're selling. So if you're in the, you know, you're doing a UK store, kind of this is like generic home stuff. You can get more refined in how you approach this. Like for example, if you're going to sell bookcases, maybe you want to also sell desks, and now we're talking about home office. Maybe you want to have like a fan. You want to have, uh, I mean, this isn't a good one, but like printers, you know, now you're getting into more like techie type appliance stuff. That'll be more high ticket, uh, cheaper to ship because it's not just like a huge wooden piece of mass. So product type diversification is the name of the game. And it also give you supplier diversification because this one supplier, like you see, they have a bunch of wooden stuff. If you find something that's related, again, you got bookcases. Maybe you got somebody that's selling uh, like executive office chairs. Again, a bit of a different product type. So it'll give you different suppliers and different margins. You'll be able to see, okay, maybe I don't like this wooden heavy stuff. I want to lean into the chairs. I want to get into the desks. I want to get into maybe some metal filing cabinets, like I said, fans, air purifiers. I don't know. Pens. I, <laughs> I, I think you get my point. So it's a good place to start, but that, that's not where you want to stay. You want to, again, branch out. And we teach all that inside the niche selection masterclass inside the course. Yeah. Build assets online.com slash enroll. Instant you know, access to that. Mike, I, I think that actually this, Koala right now that I'm thinking about it could become a big part of your drop shipping SEO game plan because since it's crawling, you will be able to have a, like list one of your products. Say you're selling like a, a, you know, Acme brand cabinet drawer. You can list that when you create the outline and then it'll crawl the web and talk about that. So it could be a really seamless way to create like a, like a certain article type for a drop shipping store. You could also use it for product descriptions, right? I think it's not. Um, I mean, you could probably use it for that, but I feel like it's the way it works and like the interface of it is seem to be more geared towards like one clicking a blog post. That's something we should get into. One click product descriptions. Hey, I don't know if it could do. I, I mean, it probably could do that. I um, I didn't really mess with it like too much. I, I didn't really have much of a chance. Let me see. You could do block. No, it's. I'm sure it will do that. But yeah, I'm just saying, if there was a way to quickly generate like unique product descriptions for hundreds or thousands of products, then it kind of gives you that unique content edge when it comes to even just like um 
shopping ads that'll help you, but obviously SEO, all those things. Yeah, I still feel like Chad GPT would is the way I went over it in the new uh, masterclass. I still feel like that would work really well for that. Not all at once, obviously, but yeah, neither would this. This would be that great all at once either. Gotcha. So he's asking Koala Chat versus Chat GPT. He's just saying we're, the point we're trying to make is that Chat GPT isn't the best for factual based content. Koala well, will kind of. Koala chat, he's saying, uh, but I haven't, oh, oh, my bad, my bad. I haven't really messed with Koala chat too much. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I might use it more in the future. I haven't really had a chance to mess with it. So he's using chat GPT for quick email responses, rewriting YouTube descriptions to make them punchier, but chat GPT is always down. Well, you got to get the plus <laughs> membership. I mean, the plus is a great deal or premium, whatever. It's like $20 a month. I have like three of them. <laughs> so I can give them to different VAs. And I don't know how many they let you per account, but you know, I don't want to get like banned or anything. So I have a couple. For $20 a month, it's worth it. So Mike, yeah. hopefully as we, uh, let me share the, the revenue again. Stop screen present. Pro codes right there, my brother. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, go to buildassetsonline.com slash koala and the coupon code is launch. You'll save 30%. Anyway, um, yeah, so I would like to see next month, probably the next couple of months, we'll have more sites on Mediavine, more sites monetized. And um, yeah, I think hopefully by next, you know, how we saw last December, we were over the 20K mark. Hopefully it will be 30 or 40, 50. I don't know. I don't know how long it's going to take, what's going to happen, but <clears throat> that's the goal. And if we don't hit that goal, then I'm done. <laughs> Land only. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, you've sp sprung up. I don't even know how many sites. You only put like four on there. I feel like we have. Some of them I made is like, you know, I've been kind of racking my brain through different ways to not do SEO, but make it so that it's cost effective and time effective. Mm -hmm. So I've thrown up a lot of experiments like, as a result of that. But that now, once now that this is out, I feel like it just changes everything. So. <laughs> I've been kind yeah. of thinking, you know, the main, the main hard part is figuring out how to apply it to everything that I have control over, but I think I've got that down now. Yeah. Well, we're applying it to even like our more aged websites too. In the beginning, yeah. we were applying the AI to these new websites that are going to take a minimum of six months to get traction because they're just new sites. You got the sandbox. Yeah. <laughs> Especially the, uh, the new one that's for the one that's for sale is one of our higher traffic sites and it hasn't been i can't i'm not really doing anything to it right now i want to i want to get rid of it but if it doesn't sell then you know we're gonna have to do a lot to it oh dude joe actually no <laughs> i don't really drink too much but um basically i i only wear shirts from lucky jeans because of their <laughs> The way, no, the way that they, the way that they do the fabric, it's like super soft. And, uh, yeah. So I, when I go into the store, I go into like one of the outlet stores. Um, you know, I drive to Delaware to do this. I feel, I like to feel all the, the fabrics and I don't know exactly what kind of like threading it is, but some of them are thin and some of them are thicker. I like to get the thick ones that, and the, I don't care what it says on it. <laughs> But I like it's like a carpet, actually. If you feel it, it's like a carpet. Oh, my God. Yeah, it's like... Fu <laughs> oh, my God. It's fu Yeah, it's fuzzy. You got to start an Amazon wish list for your uh, your preferred fabrics. I haven't figured out exactly what it is. I can only know by feeling them. Yeah. 
you know? I guess I know, you know? Again, this this is Joe's version of success. You want him to put on that starchy dress shirt, <laughs> itchy eight hours a day. I can't do it. With the dress pants. Would you wear dress pants to work or would you wear like some fake um, stretchy material that's like actually sweatpants inside? Well, I remember like my – Fashion choices would degrade over time. <laughs> so eventually, yeah, I got to Crocs, like a loose polo and like pants like you're describing. And now where are we at? What, you want to see my whole outfit right now? Yeah, let's do a fit check. All right. So, I mean, <laughs> honestly, these, these sweatpants... <laughs> These sweatpants I'm wearing, I feel like are not great, but you know, they're a little tight. But I'm going to the dentist, so I figured I needed to, I needed to dress up a little bit, you know. Yeah, nice. And this, yeah, this is. I mean, I go. I always get the XL because they shrink a little bit. And yeah, yeah. that's what it's all about. Comfort. Listen, that's all that's all you got in life. If you're gonna be uncomfortable at like eight hours, ten hours a day, like you're you're ruining your whole day. Exactly. You're just sitting there in all sorts of uh, velvet materials just defecating right into your chair. I got your Dragon Ball Z blanket from your childhood. Yeah, yeah I'm living the dream. You know, so Listen, much much like your fashion choices, this stream is definitely degrading. So let's uh let's call it here. Yeah. So I'm gonna do a separate video, but build assetsonline.com slash koala, coupon code launch. I mean, I'm just recommending it on short notice because I got it. I'm very impressed with it. Definitely gonna continue using it, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. If you guys like these AI niche site style videos let us know because again every time we make something that's not drop shipping people uh tune out but if people want to see this stuff i mean we think it's very important otherwise we wouldn't make videos on it we think you guys should uh start taking action on it as well because again you got to be in the game to take advantage of all these changes that are happening so go do that build assets online.com slash koala check it out and until next time take it easy take it easy